it goes into this little silt pond here. And um, what we're doing right now is kind of flood irrigating the swales. That is right along here. Okay, and then what happens is when it gets all the way to the other end, it kind of sheet flows down and then uh, moves back down towards and rejoins that seasonal flow into the lower pond. Okay, and when we're done with, with this swale, we'll move over to the swale on the other side. So it just shows you a little bit of passive passive irrigation and what we're really doing is just kind of supercharging the, the soil here letting a lot of water um, taking it from here and where it would normally just kind of flow off down down the hill and then we're spreading it out and letting it soak in and then anything that's left over which there is it will it will flow again and rejoin once again it's really really cool here's another example of uh, passive irrigation here we have some seasonal runoff uh, that comes comes down here uh, we get it for depends on the year but you know four or five months out of the year so we just passively uh, will irrigate swales we kind of flood irrigate those swales and as you can see it's filling up nicely and um, it follows all the way along here goes behind that coop and goes around and then it'll sheet flow down that other side and then hit that lower swell which again connects all the way back to this seasonal flow so it's all connected so again all we're doing here is taking some of this water that would just run straight off and we are spreading it out on the property here and letting it soak in and so this is just one way it's very simple design but very effective Oh,